Hi, my name is Seth, and I'm going to tell you guys my coming out story today. So, it has been three and a half, almost four years since I came out officially. So that includes family, and I guess just making it public knowledge. So I think I first started to figure it out when I was in about fifth grade. I didn't like any of the boys in elementary school, but I liked like celebrity guys. Middle school, a pretty shitty time for everyone. If it was a good time for you, you suck. Um, I also didn't really know then that I was gay. I was kind of just going through middle school being really awkward. So going through middle school, I started to go through puberty and I I didn't really have much sexual attraction to either men or women and I was kind of just like twiddling my thumbs waiting for it to happen and one day this uh, boy that I knew he like walked by me when I was sitting down and his butt rubbed against my arm and I got like the biggest butterfly rush I've ever had and I just kept thinking about his butt touching my arm and I was like I like that <laughs> so that was kind of a early on indicator for me that I liked boys sexually at least and at this point I never had a crush on anybody seriously I thought I had liked my girlfriend in eighth grade and I I might have, I don't know, I might be somewhere on the spectrum. I like enjoyed being with her somewhat, but I never wanted to like kiss her. So there was definitely nothing sexual there, but who knows. I don't regret it because it helped me learn that I didn't like girls, so. So I never actually had a crush on a guy in middle school or elementary school. It wasn't until I got to high school. And I met <clears throat> this one guy, and I wasn't sure that I liked him, but I liked being around him a lot. <clears throat> and I got the butterflies, and I thought about him a lot when I wasn't around him. Seeing how emotionally invested I got in this guy, it kind of started to piece itself together in my mind that if I was this into a guy, <clears throat> I must be gay. So then when he left my high school, I still had two years there, I started to have crushes on other guys. And at that point I was like, okay, I think I like boys. It took me that long, right? And I guess I really did know, I just was in denial. I, <clears throat> I'm gonna go back. I was raised Mormon and <clears throat> As most people know, Mormon and gay don't really mix. I never actually was happy with the church. They had raised me and all the other boys my age basically to achieve the same things in life down the road. Like at this age you're gonna do this and then you're gonna do this and then you're gonna get married and have kids and blah 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 blah. And I always fucking hated this whole like cookie cutter lifestyle that they were implementing on all the kids and I just I hated it. So growing up in that environment I didn't accept these feelings that I was having. It wasn't until halfway through my senior year of high school I got an iPhone and this gave me a lot more privacy for my internet browsing. I know what you're thinking, not porn but I started to watch a lot of coming out videos. So I went through a phase where I was watching a lot of these videos for a couple months, and then I came across one video in particular that struck me. This guy had uh, grown up Mormon. Not to say that other people's experiences didn't relate to me, but I felt like I connected more with his story and the religious aspect. So I sent him a message and he replied to me. So he was the first person that I had ever told that I was gay. And I talked to him for a while before 
a couple months after I first talked to him, I came out to my best friend, and she was an amazing first person to come out to. I couldn't have asked for a better or more supportive friend. Oh. <laughs> so now that I had um, one person that I could confide in about this stuff, I felt a lot better. I was still really afraid of telling my family or any, anybody else. So then when my sister came home from her first semester of college, I I told her a few days before she came home, I have something I need to talk to you about. And of course she was concerned and I told her, oh, it's not a big deal, even though it was to me. So she came home and we were sitting up in her room one night and her best friend was sleeping in her bed and me and her were just talking. And I told her, I was like, okay, I need to tell you the thing. And she was like, what is it, what is it? She kept urging me to spit it out, which is good because I needed to do that. So I told her and the first thing she said to me was, are you sure? Which a lot of people know is a really annoying question because how do you, I, I can't even, I don't even need to describe why that's a stupid question, but her concerns were a little different than I had anticipated. So in a nutshell, she like took it hard, but told me she loved me and that she was really supportive. So now I had two people that knew about it in my real life and I was coming towards the end of my senior year of high school and I was going off to college for a summer term and I I really just wanted it to be out of the way before I got there because I didn't want to have to live a double life like Hannah Montana while I was at school. So summer term is getting closer and closer after graduation and I knew I was going to have to tell my parents at some point, so I was just kind of waiting for the opportunity to present itself. And one night my mom asked me, so are you going to make time to go to church when you're at school? And I was just feeling really impulsive and I was like, no. And she just went dead silent. Oh, I was so nervous and I was like, I just need to hit her with both of these at the same time that I'm quitting church and that I'm gay so that I don't have to have two giant episodes. So I sat her down in my living room and my dad was in the other room and I brought him in too. And I said, okay, stay there. So I went and got my sister. I was like, hey, I'm doing it right now. And she was like, really, why now? And I was like, because it was so hard for me to muster up this courage. I was really irritated that she even hesitated, but she came in with me and told my parents and I cried and after I told them they didn't say anything they just kind of looked at each other and I was like mm. it's been a while so I don't really remember all the details but like my dad was like we still love you blah 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 came over and hugged me which was weird because my dad doesn't really hug us and my mom was just like sitting across from me just in shock which was surprising to me because Everybody in high school thought I was gay, so it was weird because everybody that I knew personally and was very close with, it was really surprising to them. But people at school and people I didn't know that well were like, that's gay. Like, um, so the person that took it the hardest was definitely my mom. She had a couple of days where she was sitting in her room crying and not coming out of her room, not talking to anybody, and I was just like, holy shit. I didn't think it would be this big of a deal to her. So after her couple of days of whatever, she finally decided to talk to me, and she was asking me really hurtful things like, oh, you want people to know about this? And I was like, uh, yeah. And she was saying like, 
when did you first know? How did you know? And I said, I knew, I guess, when I was like 11, like fifth grade. And she was like, why didn't you tell us then? Do I even need to? <sighs> she was just asking really, really ignorant questions. And I was just not happy at all with how she was taking it. Um, and then, well, my dad, who seemingly took it well, I said like, I wish he would have just reacted how dad reacted. Like he seems to be pretty okay with it. And he was like, whoa, I didn't say that. And I was like, no. So then um, the next day my mom wrote me this letter and she was saying um, how much she loved me and she understands. And she's like, after listening to what you've had to say, I really do believe that it's something you're born with. And I was like, okay. At least she's like chilled out a little bit and basically that week was pretty terrible but it had to happen so whatever a week after that I went uh, to my semester my first semester at university and I was free it was still kind of weird between my parents and my mom still trying to get me to go to church and shit which really pissed me off because she was disrespecting my very firm decision to renounce Mormonism and to be openly gay. So that was annoying. So now I had finished my summer term and I could start my very first official semester being gay, not having to hide it from anybody or say like, don't say blah, 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 blah. So it felt really fucking awesome. So now I was like getting more attention from boys and being able to reciprocate said attention. And I know um, people coming out is like big news to a lot of people, which is kind of annoying to me, but there were still um, a lot of people that hadn't heard about it. So it was, I think, coming out day in 2013, like October 11th, and I made a status and I just said, happy coming out day. And I thought that was a pretty neutral status, but apparently everybody took that as me coming out. So that's how that happened. So basically everybody knew at that point. I started getting messages from people like, hey. I was like, oh, I guess I just outed myself on Facebook, cool. So I have been out to my family now for over three years and it's, okay, so how my, I said my mom took it the hardest. She definitely did, but she has also made the most progress out of anyone that I've told. Because now I can openly talk about boys, well, not really, but I can say that I'm gay in front of her and I can say like so and so is attractive and it's not weird anymore and she will laugh about it with me and like we can talk about past times where like when I was a kid and there were like really obvious signs that I was gay, such as uh, I played with Barbies all the time. I fucking hated playing sports. When I was, uh, when my parents were planning one of my birthday parties when I was in preschool, so I was like three or four, um, my only condition that I said for the party, I said, none boys, only girls. And I guess my parents interpreted that as me being a player which is hilarious. And then I just always wanted to play with my sister's shit. My taste in toys was pretty eclectic as far as like boyish stuff and girlish stuff like Barbies and like Max Steel and cars and stuff, whatever. Not to say any of these stereotypes make a kid gay, but it's kind of like a hint. I got bullied a little bit growing up. People calling me gay. I don't know why little macho 7th graders get off on picking on people that they think are gay, especially that young. It's really fucked up. Uh, middle schoolers are savage as fuck. So I came out to my parents the summer before I started university and I didn't talk about myself being gay to my parents at all for like two years. So it was the summer after my sophomore year and I had my one of my best girlfriends staying over and then our guy friend and the three of us were sleeping in my room 
So my mom thought that me and this guy were fucking, basically, which isn't true. It was actually my friend and him that were fucking. So my brother just casually mentioned me one day, so are you and that guy dating? And I was like, what are you talking about? And he goes, oh, mom said that you two were a thing. And I was like, what? I just thought it was so weird that my mom had never talked to me about it or mentioned it for two years. Yeah, two years. And made this assumption. So I confronted her about it and I said, do you think me and Kyle are dating? And she was like, uh, uh, she was not prepared for that wrecking ball at all because we hadn't talked about it in so long. And I told her, just to let you know, definitely is not happening. And if I ever am dating somebody, I'll let you know. And she was like, okay, well, if you ever are seeing somebody and you want to have them over, that's totally fine with me. I was glad that she had made progress in this area. So it's been three and a half years or so that I've been out and about, and I'm really happy. I'm really happy with the progress that my family has made, especially my mom. And yeah, that's about it. If any of you have any questions or you want to talk to somebody, please feel free to reach out to me because I know how important it is to have somebody to confide in. And if I can help even one person, that'll be so significant. And that's why I made this video because I want to help somebody or hopefully as many people as I can. All right, so bye.